Looks fit. Strategic image trained by Peter Moody, a Scott Seamer ride as the number 11 saddlecloth. And you're looking at the top eight with Prince Rubiton favourite ahead of Princessa, Chattanooga and Barcada. But now we go back to Doombin where they're moving into the gates and Alan Thomas is ready with his call of race five. Got a good first up record. Now in the orange colours, this is strategic image. Having his first start for around 12 months. 14.20 on the tote, a little better than that on course. Now Lewinsky went through the front of the gates, but uh, hasn't gone at all far. In the meantime, feel the noise is coming up into the barriers. Sterling Knight is set. Dandy Kid about to come in. Now it's an open race. There's Lewinsky going back down behind the line after breaking through, but he didn't go all that far at all. Sports Brett the Grey there. Uh, Prince Rubiton the favourite. An important gear change for him today. And Norton bit on and the ring bit off. Open race, but here's the popular one. Princessa. The form stacking up well. She uh, is resuming from a spell here today, but trial well beating reactive very comfortably at Ballarat. Chattanooga, good fresh up record. Well on the market here. And so is Barcada. Nearly ready. Sports Brett has gone in firm surface against him here today likes to sting out of the ground and uh, consequently he's very good odds this afternoon 36.90 in fact now point danger's gone in here's Eustonov about to come along to the line having his first start since the derby in Sydney so Eustonov is now ready so print now he's backed out of line again Prince Rubiton Still on the move behind the gates also. Now Eustonov goes up. Just might have had him in the wrong gate, I, I suppose. I don't know, but he's back in there now, and so is Prince Rubiton, and they're set to go. Light flashes at the 1100. Sports Brat just getting up in the air, settled now. Ready. Racing, Prince Rubiton jump well. Barcada got away nicely with strategic image towards the inside. Crystal Finale and Feel the Noise both jump well. Chattanooga showed no paces towards the end with Eustonoff, Weasel, Will and Little Dozer. At the 800 metre mark now and Feel the Noise wide out, sprinting hard to the lead ahead of Barcada. Princess of Prince Rubiton in the line fourth. A link strategic image. There followed Crystal Finale and then Dandy Kid. One Lewinsky linked at a half. Sterling Knight, Point Danger. Three or four to Sports Brat, Weasel, Will and then Eustonoff. Off Chattanooga and Little Dozer up to the turn. Bar Carter railed through and took a neck advantage. Overfield the noise to Princessa and then Prince Rubiton. Strategic image followed by Crystal Finale, Lewinsky, Dandy Kid and Point Danger. Bar Carter led for home. Strategic image is following through along the inside. Wider out then Prince Rubiton and Princessa. Feel the noise isn't done with yet either. He's coming again. Bar Carter feel the noise. Prince Rubiton is coming at them. Feel the noise. Prince Rubiton. Crystal Finale swamps them down the out. Side. They come to the line. Crystal finale or feel the noise. Fade finished. Prince Rubiton has run third. Bar Carter just wilted the last little bit, followed by strategic image. Point danger, sports brat. Then Princessa, Sterling Knight, followed by Dandy Kid. Back behind him was Eustonoff and Lewinsky, Chattanooga, Weasel, Will and Little Dozer. Crystal finale's going to get it. Number nine, Brendan Fennick. He swapped them down the outside to win the race in the last couple of bounds feel the noise worked at both ends but then crystal finale pegged him back and has got the prize in the last bound you'll find time is 12.41 12.41 right greg thanks numbers 9 15 10 and crystal finale must have made up five links in the last 150 meters with a barnstorming run Brendan Fennick, uh, he'd win on anything at the moment. Feel the noise second and Prince Rubiton third. 9, 15, 10. Winner, 37, 90 and 8, 40 as we watch the head on. And his crystal finale um, all but on the extreme outside. Only a couple of horses wider than him. Long striding horse who needs plenty of galloping room and he got that down the extreme outside to score a last stride win. Now, uh, Brendan, of course, won on uh, 
sports the other day. He's had a very, very good trot. Crystal Finale, feel the noise, Prince Rubiton. Racing. Prince Rubiton away quickly towards the middle. Sports Brad hopped out in a hurry. Princess are away fast and so is Crystal Finale. And feel the noise coming from the outside and Bacata is pushing up with strategic image. Dandy Kid goes back after the start. Feel the noise from the outside leads up now from Bacata the rail. Princess a third and fourth in the middle is Prince Rubiton. A length strategic image from Crystal Finale. Dandy Kid then Lewinsky Sterling Knight. Then Point Danger three length Sports Brat followed by Weasel Will Eustonoff Chattanooga. Little Doe's the last of all. They've gone to the 600. And Bacata got up on the inside, a neck in front of Feel the Noise, a length and a half, Princessa. Prince Rubidon travels up nicely, fourth the middle in the line. They're followed further back by Strategic Image. Back behind them, Crystal Finale, Lewinsky, Dandy Kid, and Point Danger. The run comes for Prince Rubidon. Feel the Noise, Bacata in front. Prince Rubidon on the outside, going up to them from Strategic Image. Then Princessa and down the outside, Crystal Finale. It's Bacata, Feel the Noise, and Prince Rubidon on the outside. Wider out, Crystal Finale. Prince Rubidon, Feel the Noise. Crystal Finale swamping them on the outside outside and got up I reckon I reckon last stride might be Crystal Finale on the line over Feel the Noise and Prince Rubiton then Sports Brat Point Danger and Bacata, Strategic Image Princess of Sterling Knight, Dandy Kid Lewinsky Eustonoff Chattanooga the last couple Weasel Will and Little Dozer Number 9 Crystal Finale for Brendan Fennick another big win for him 38.70 and 7.90 number 15 Feel the Noise second at 5.90 and for third number 10 Prince Rubiton 1.90 90 a knockout Number nine. Number nine with a big finish. Crystal Finale in the last couple of bounds has nailed Feel the Noise, who's having a real battle with Prince Rubiton. But with a, a big stride, he hasn't raced since the Salinger of last year behind Sadurka. And this has been an amazing training uh, performance by Peter Morgan, formerly with Matty Allerton. And Peter's produced this horse first up from Derby Day last year to get up and gain the day and let's find out how he did it Dean. Thanks very much Brian, I'm joined by Peter Morgan. Peter, horse hadn't raced for a long... I will have to leave it there, they're about to move up at the Gold Coast. ...test for into the night who, if he races well, I think Creeth Dryden actually said if he happened to finish uh, within three lengths of the winner, um, despite his wide gait, uh, that he would be heading off to Melbourne with into the night who's uh, been sparingly raced and shows tremendous promise. Time for us to go to Rose Hill Gardens and his Ian Craig. Righto, John, this is the big one of the day. The Concord Stakes, it's a Group 3. $100,000 all up. And uh, this race last year went to Magic Albert. Uh, actually, last year was Phoenix Park. Beat uh, Lord Essex and Spinning Hill. The other big one today was one last year, the Peter Pan by Magic Albert. And Phoenix Park, well tried today. He's just, uh, he came in a point and a half, but in the last couple of minutes, he's just eased back a half a point. And Century Kid has tightened up in on-course operations to just knows Phoenix Park. So it's uh, Century Kid favourite in the ring, just in front of Phoenix Park and into the night, and then a half point to Accelerator. A very, very open TJF Group Concord Stakes. And they're starting to load with Fuadi the first into the stalls. Gab Fest is coming in now. Should be a beauty, this. Here's Gabfest. Right, as uh, Brendan joins us now, just recapping on the uh, situation on track. Late firm, a century kid. He's a half point shorter than jointly to Phoenix Park, who's met with good support and 10 into the night. On the tote, working from the top, 5.30 about century kid, 6.10 Phoenix Park, 6.10 for Accelerator. And then down to number 10 into the night at $6.30. Previous race five, 11 Brantwood Manor, Daryl McClellan, B12 Enemy Fire and 8 to be fair. Other winners, Gamesman, Pompey, Zeltrice and Force of Hollow. Shags coming up to the gates here. Yes, last year, Phoenix Park beat Lord Essex and uh, Spinning Hill. Condotti won it in 2000. Guinea's part of that. Confisticate in 98. Armadale in 97. Meeting was abandoned in 96. Anyway, back to business here. Corral Boy resuming, coming in now, and Padstow will see the line complete. Up goes Padstow, and they're all in. A field of 11 in the TJF Group Concord Stakes. This is a Group 3 1100.
waiting on Phoenix Park. Racing in the Concord and Shags, smartest out commencing very well, Century Kid looking for the lead and going up very smartly is Straban and company with Phoenix Park, it's a bustle up for the lead and Ancient Song trying to head them all off and a little better than midfield now is Accelerator and company with Corral Boy, Fawadi into the night, Gabfest and Padstow down the side approaching the 600 Shags, about two lengths Century Kid Ancient Song, Straban, Phoenix Park and Accelerator, a couple Corral Boy and Fawadi a length into the night Standing this leader, a big start. Gabfest second last, Padstow's last. Around the corner, and Shags has got a big lead. And setting sail for the judge. Shags about four lengths on Century Kid Straban. Phoenix Parker starting to knuckle down to his work now from Fuadi. And then Ancient Song and a couple into the night's extending. It's Phoenix Park pegging back Shags. Fuadi and Century Kid. And into the night is storming home. Fuadi hits the front. Fuadi accelerates. And Fuadi wins the Concord from Into the Night and Century Kid. Gab Fest flew Phoenix Park weekend. Then Ancient Song Accelerator Corral Boy. Foul Shags, didn't it? Pull up very quickly. And the last couple home in the race were Padstow and Straban. And victory goes to number five, Fuadi. 11.80 and 340. Written by Chris Munts. Number 10 into the night, $2.30. Written by Danny Beasley and one century kid, Justin Sheehan, has paid a dividend of $2.50. The official fourth was number two, Phoenix Park. Terrific race. And Fuadi has been able to score. If you've got the Quinella in NSW with number 10, you've got $47.70. If you've struck the exacta, you'll get that divvy when it's semaphored. If you've got, here it is, $128.10. The trifecta has paid 472.50, and if you've got five, ten, one, and two in the first four, 2,843.20. And if you've backed the first leg into a scratching in the second leg, and eleven dollars and fifty cents. Five, ten, one, and two. Fawadi by Forest Glow from Remember Prue, trained by Jimmy Lee, freshened up since running seventh in the Stradbroke Handicap, which was a very, very good performance. Thanks, Ian. Yes, he was only beaten two lengths in the Stradbroke by Shower Hart. He's an underrated horse, Fuadi. Uh, that's his sixth win from 31 starts. He's run nine or ten placings, and his stake earnings, uh, 308,000 before today, and you can add another 60 or 70,000 to that. Chris Munts is... Ab I'm, not, I'm certainly not going to say he can beat Northerly. Northerly's a great horse, and which I have a huge amount of respect for, and, but I'm thrilled to have a horse um, good enough to be taking him on. Yeah, his form's been outstanding, and you must have been very pleased with his comeback. Blew me away, Alf. I mean, I, I would have been happy with the horse after a 10-month layoff to run in the four, first six in a 1,200-metre race, and to win like he did carrying the big weight showed to me that he certainly is a weight-for-age horse. And, um, and today we get to find out if he is. But um, he, he, all, he knows one thing, and that's how to be genuine and try hard, and he'll do that again today. Court of Jewels in race seven. Have you been a touch disappointed with it? No, I have not. Uh, his form in Adelaide was superb and we brought him over to Mooney Valley last start. There was a, he was up in a speed battle. They went far too hard, Alf. He ended up back in the ruck then and had some traffic problems. I felt he still had more to offer at the end of that race. Uh, um, he's beautifully in on 51. I've taken the blinkers off so he'll race a bit more relaxed. I'd give him another chance. You've got two lovely runners in race eight. La Lagoon, I liked her run first up and Wyndham Special is racing well. Yes, um, it's one of these mares races. There's a length between about seven chances, but my two mares have trained on super and will, be, will run really well. Good luck. Thanks, Self. There he is, Tony, Tony McAvoy. After having six winners, Balaclava Cup Day last Wednesday, he's got a few really good chances here today. Right, thanks, Alf. Thank you, Tony McAvoy. And uh, we'll soon know where the fields of Omar is up to the task because they're within two minutes of a start. Northerly at 260, Fields of Omar 330, Dash for Cash at 490, Magical Miss at $7.60. Not many runners, but this race is uh, a tremendously interesting one. Sky Ratings Race 7 in Sydney, Platinum Scissors 100, Sportsman 97, Tacas 93, Masquerado 93 on the Peter Pan Stakes.
Now, the full market on the race, uh, recruiting 680, Sportsman 750, Takis 570, Mascarado 14, Bulala 49, Scratch 6, Clangalang 410, Ripcords at $25. Provarchi at 42, Addendum 84, Sunny Riviera 750, Hamiyan 66, Platinum Scissors 870, Master Veloci 51, Civics at 32, Polar North is a late scratching. Wait right, Doombin, Arrogato 830, 250, Levant 180, Qualo 140, Quinella 1980, Trifecta 133, 90. Okay, the spotlight is fairly and squarely on the